Right, we're going. Right, respect everybody, man. Shouts out. Everybody who's been listening to the last couple of shows. Respect everyone who's introduced himself who's here. Why are you going to laugh there? Because I want to explore. Steph. D2 head, D2 head movement know. TV in the place, yeah? Fucking drinking coffee by the pint, so you know there's going to be some talking going on. <laughs> I'm, I'm going by the alias of Huey P. Newton, yeah? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be one of the he next people the on the hit list after this video call, I'm telling you. But, um, one love, one love. Let's just see what we can decipher in this chat. Yeah, wicked one. Listen, I'm going under the alias of Abu Samasi Clarence the Fourth. Okay? So everybody you got knows blanked you. out. You got <laughs> you don't see me. You don't see me. So it's Dean Facey, just here, just making sure we get some common sense out there. Here we go. We got our mediator there and our, our host. Steph our Rater, Steph. come get me. I ain't scared of none of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big ups, mate. We've got, very, we've got a very special guest in this one. D2, respect, my bro. Yes, D2. And, uh, Ple- the reason, pleasure to be here, boys. Pleasure. Thank you. The reason, the reason I sp- well, specifically asked you on because um, I seen your video the other day. It was when, when it first started kicking off all this and people started to question it. Yours was one of the first videos I've seen. And, uh, I'm not sure if I shared that, but I'd just like to ask you, like, what happened on the day and, and the response you had from putting that video out, if that makes any sense. You just want to say, talk us through what happened again from well, what you, the video you, know, you put out on that. Okay, so this is the first time of me uh, being involved with any of you. Like, I don't know from what side of the fence you're looking at this from, but obviously I'm here now, so I'm going to hear everybody's point of view and uh, perspective on the whole situation. But I just want to get it out that I am not, Repeat, I am not one of these conspiracy theory fanatics. All I was doing was asking questions like, listen, I'm not at home on my computer looking for shit, smoking weed. This is happening in real life. This is not me just chilling back and looking for problems in the world. This is real. This is happening right in front of our faces. And I'm asking questions. That's all I'm doing. Like... What I'm seeing now is ignorant, naive people, yeah, thinking they can scuff and snigger at, at people that are not easily finessed. People that see shit going on and they're like, hold on a minute, boss man, my change don't add up. Like, if you go into a shop and give a man a £20 note and it looks like he's gave you back the change for a £5 note, you're going to look at your change and say, hold on, this don't add up. But there's people out there that want me to just put the change in my pocket and leave the shop. You get me? If I do that, then boss man is going to know next time I can finesse him. And if the whole country does that, then boss man is going to continue, continue to finesse and finesse, or it's going to be a miscalculation. And the thing is, it's not a 20 pound note that is going to be miscalculated with. It's our lives. It's our lives that they may be miscalculating with. It's our lives that they may be finessing or, or purposely sabotaging. And this is my point. Like, okay, so a lot of people reached out to me and had positive things to say, but at the same time, there was people saying, no, here we go. Get the tinfoil hats ready. Like, does anybody else want to talk before I go into my, my long rant? No, carry on, bro. Okay, so, so this whole 5G thing is my problem. Like, I know there's a virus, yeah? My whole thing was, why has this 5G been aggressively distributed through the country at a time like this? It is not necessary. And the way they've tried to sneakily just put it under the radar, like, like quick, 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 quickly do it. Like I'm thinking, why is it important right now? So, and then we find out if you do research about 5G, another thing that these ignorant, naive pro-establishment goons try chat like you're in the wrong for research and anything like if you get proof and research then then you're you're the dirt brain and not them like i'm thinking what because i'm going out and i'm researching about something but i'm not even talking about the research let's let's talk about it the way they want to talk about it political yeah okay let's get political and talking about the economy yeah we are in a financial crisis we need every penny possible we need to be very stingy with our money and whatever the money goes on needs to be important why for the love of me has millions and millions just been invested in 5g 
Why at a time, at a time like this year, where people are dying, you know what that's like? That's like, yeah, a mother in her house, her children are starving downstairs and she's not buying no food and she's going out and getting lip fillers and buying Botox. That's what our country is doing right now. I'm talking political. There's no foil hat on my head right now. I'm not talking about the, the, the health damage that 5G does. I'm talking about economy, yeah? I'm talking about being wise with our money. We need funds going into the NHS. Why for the life of me are these twats spending millions and millions on 5G? Somebody please explain it to me. I don't get it. Why now? Why is it so important now? The first day of lockdown, there was an aggressive um, distribution and and the installation of 5G was everywhere. We were seeing the vans all in Chalmsley Wood in Stetford. People were messaging me saying, it's all over the gaff, it's in Scotland, it's in this. Now how much money that must have cost him to do that? Why? You lot go, I've said my piece. I hear, you, but I hear you bro, I hear you bro, I hear you man. Is it, is it, do you work no. in the NHS DD too as well? Is that what I heard on the video? Dear? This is what I'm saying. I, nearly everybody in my family works in the NHS. I work in the NHS on the CPU. My wife works in radiology. My sister works in NHS. My sister-in-law works in NHS. Like nearly all of my sister-in-laws work in the NHS, this is what I'm saying, and I'm, and if they're saying to us, they're gonna, they're gonna, after this year, I, I would imagine they're gonna try and throw it back in our faces and saying it would have been better if it was privatized, which makes no yeah, sense. Yeah. But I'm, this is something I've been waiting for as well. I can see that, I can see that coming out of this as well. We need to privatize it now because some of you are not taking yeah, care if, of it. If we would have privatized it, we would have had money, this and that. But like I said, that's all bullshit because when you're, you're expending all of these funds into fucking 5G, which it just makes no sense to me. I hear yeah. you. I'm hey, going to follow on with that. Like, with me, I'm, I'm coming from the, same, from, from the same sort of team, yeah? I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I've got young kids here, yeah? And I want, I want to know what kind of world I'm bringing these kids up in. And... To me, it just confirms that we're entering uh, uh, um, an Orwelli, or Orwellian flipping state right now. Yeah. yeah, and that's what's happening. And it's the perfect time to do it now, is the 5G. It's just the perfect time to do it while everyone's distracted. I mean, just the pure fact the numbers and the statistics don't add up. Like, I, I looked today online on, um, on the internet about the amount of people that have tested for this COVID-19 is 120,000 in the UK. The amount of confirmed cases is 15,000 or 20,000 now. So that's, that means that they're testing. That means 85% of the people they've tested haven't got it. Only 15% have got it. So that tells me they don't even can even tell the difference between COVID-19 and a normal flu. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That makes sense to you. So mm -hmm. with, with them tests being wasted, and the numbers being thrown out and thrown out and thrown out that don't even add up. And it's just confusing all of us for what's going on in the bigger picture, which I do, I do, I think the 5G maps, they are going up, they are popping up everywhere. And I don't well, know- Well, you can confirm that. Between them. I don't know the relevance with the, do you know what I mean? This is what's well, in my mind. Dean Shit can confirm, happening. Dean can confirm the five masks going because you're, you're in Gran Canaria, aren't you? And, uh, we are on full lockdown there, can't go out of exercise, but the masks are still going up there. You can see it, can't you, when you're there as well? Yeah, they're, they're, what's happened was they put them up. They put them up incrementally, like they've been building this place up for time, yeah? And what I've noticed was that when we've been on lockdown, you're seeing all the men in the mountain. It's like they're connecting it all. They can, they're, and they're connecting new ones. And they're, they're, it's, it's literally like a, like a new infrastructure they're doing. Because all of a sudden, people are noticing them everywhere. And before, like, any, like anything, like, you could be saying, oh, no, I don't like 4Ks. And then you bring it to someone's attention, then all of a sudden you're seeing 4Ks everywhere, yeah? And it's a similar thing. Now, you're, now we're taking notice and we've seen what they look like and what's going on. They're everywhere. And what's happening with all, all this stuff over here, like, literally, the current, the current vibe over here, mate, you can feel a complete change in the air. That's, that's, that's number one. Because I was asking the same questions, like, why are they still dealing with all this 5G and they're still working up in the mountains and that, when there's a pandemic and people are meant to be staying indoors, it's meant to be for essential work. So they obviously need, they obviously need this stuff for something, and obviously they are, they're, they're putting in the new infrastructure, basically. While we're on lockdown, they're putting up a new system, that's what it feels like. And there's no two ways to look about it, it doesn't matter if you're conspiracy theorist or not, this is fact. 
Because it's happening. Yeah, yeah, it's happening. I can't ask anything. Fact, fact. Yeah. Why is it, you see what you said? Um, a necessary workflow or something along them lines. Yeah. But this was my, that was what, everything that my videos were based around. I'm, I'm asking questions, I'm saying, why is 5G so necessary? Why are we risking the lives of all of these workmen going to erect these towers and, and further spread of the virus over 5G? That was all my video was about. It wasn't no conspiracy theory. I was saying, okay, we've all got headaches. Maybe these are um, harmful frequencies that they're, that, that they're giving off. But I'm saying, but why so important? Why is 5G so important? And then I hear what I'm saying. Is it in this time now? It's not what to get my phone a little bit faster, to get my internet know, a little bit faster. Does it really need? Is, is, is that what I'm getting out of it? What is it? What is oh, it? You've got nothing to do with your phone. What, what's yeah. what? Nothing to do with the phone. <laughs> no. No. Could improve this video chat a little bit, couldn't it? Maybe. No, I'll no fuck it out. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What, what is it? The reason they're doing it just confirms it. There isn't. It isn't a pandemic. It can't be a pandemic. It can't be as bad as they're making out. Otherwise, they wouldn't do that. Or would they? I don't know. Listen, listen, listen. And the biggest joke of the day is, like I said before, in the, I've been on lockdown 15 days now. 15 days. We're not even oh, allowed to go out. You keep exercise, hearing but. about this guy, man. Just get listen, over yourself, Dean. Man's got a guy. Man's got a guard in everything and a gym. Shut up. Man, you have all that. No. No, but seriously, like it's 15 days, and in the past 15 days, I promise you, well, I've, I've heard and seen more ambulances and emergency services on a normal Wednesday night than I have for the past 15 days. And this is a pandemic, and they're saying people are dying. Yeah. People wow. Yeah. Everything's overrun. I haven't heard one ambulance, and we're in, we're in uh, apartments everywhere, so you'd hear them. If someone's in an emergency, yeah. they're coughing, they're spluttering, they're about to drop dead, this and that. There's going to be this everywhere because it's a pandemic, isn't it? It's the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. But, now, but now, I told you, they've made, they've equated a pandemic now to have the right to preemptively lock you up to protect your health on your behalf. Because there ain't no yeah. pandemic as far as I'm seeing. Because still, still, in actual reality, when I'm still asking anybody, do you know anybody who's actually died because of cause and effect of COVID-19, not coronavirus, COVID-19. They've had it and they've died because of just literally getting it. No. Nobody knows anyone, and we're still locked up indoors. This is some fuckery. It's a joke. Do you, do you know what, what they're really clever at doing? When you read in the headlines, and it says, um, another victim dies after testing positive for coronavirus. Not that he died because of coronavirus. But she snapped her neck. But she snapped her neck falling down the stairs. <laughs> but after yeah, testing bad. positive for coronavirus. So... <laughs> Yo. But you know what? You know what? I need to just say, um, I'm not saying that this virus doesn't exist. I'm not nope. saying Nobody's it's saying all that. a hoax. I don't want to get drawn into anything like that when people look, because they'll use that against our truths. That's what we need exactly. to be careful mm -hmm. about. Because when, when you start making points and start bringing up facts, you know what I mean? You don't want to be like Alex Jones, where like you'll say something that, true and then you'll talk about um, the, the, the government vampires or something <laughs> there's oh. people you don't want to do that type of shit so that's some days like yo i believe that this virus is real and you know um anthony yard the boxer that's me frank He's warren died, yeah. his dad just died so this is this is what i'm saying it's getting real like uh, yeah. anthony yard's not not like fucking a big high celebrity like that he's so i don't no see, reason to lie he's got no, he's got reason, no to lie. reason to lie like look at him and tunde ajayi like he's a road man you know what i mean like he's not yeah. gonna lie he said yo i'm a very uh private person that's why he never said that his dad's got it but he says yo my dad has died from it i don't know how old his dad is but he said yo my dad's got no underlining health mm -hmm. um, um problems or whatever so like i said i'm not i'm not denying the fact that it is a crisis and there is a disease that's going around killing people but i'm saying yo this 5g thing like that's what i'm concentrating on right now you get me car we can do something about this 5g it looks like we can't do much about the coronavirus except stay in and whoever's mo moaning about 15 days bro i wish i could stay in for 15 days i have to go to work and i have to risk <laughs> getting it i wish i could be in your position uh, climbing up the right. walls and go Listen, listen, listen. When when you're when you're in here, because like I said, it's, I'm bringing it down from out of a conspiracy to it being based in reality. Because yeah, people can say they have it. That's fair enough. 
there is a virus, that's fair enough. I'm now talking about, with regards to how they've used this particular crisis, the future that's being panned out is something whereby we're, going, we're walking into a totalitarian state. Yeah. So they're managing to distract everybody with the fact that there's these deaths because they're pulling on the emotive heartstrings of people because they're just talking about, they're, they're completely drowning you in the image of death and all these people are going to die. Number one, not only are they saying there's a pandemic, now they know exactly where it's going to move and they're predicting how many deaths are going to happen. Yeah. That's scary yeah. on its own. Okay, when you're when you're making these makeshift hospitals and making crematoriums and stuff like that and morgues and and uh, turning pits into stadiums because they're predicting something, that's number one. That's creepy. That's weird. Yeah, 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 Especially yeah. when it doesn't register in reality what's going on. That's number one. And I said number two on the back of this particular crisis again, they're rushing through a coronavirus bill that nobody knows about. Has it been in the media? No one's read it. No one knows what's going on. And everything in the bill is to do with completely clamping down on your freedom of movement. Yeah. Right. And also they're introducing a digital currency on top of that. So like I said, the smoke screen, as, as bad as it may be, is still going to be the pandemic. And, and, and 5G. The, and, yep, and the 5G on top of that. And then on top of that, when I'm saying to people with the facts, I say, if the World Health Organization is literally releasing information that 650,000 people die a year of normal flu, if you were to ever record those deaths, it would always look like a pandemic because people aren't used to people die from It would be worse than the pandemic that's going on and now. It would be worse. It would be worse. So this is what I'm saying. Like Everything that's going on, I'm looking at the future of where we're going to come out of this tunnel because what are people going to start saying if they say, no, we're going to, no you're going to stay indoors for another two months? Come on now. They'll, they'll, they'll accept it. There's only, there's, only a few, there's only a few free minds left. Do you know what the, the clever thing that they're doing, the government are doing? They're pretending, the government are pretending that we as the public have the power to prevent this. Yeah? yeah so they're yeah, making yeah, out yeah, like yeah. we have the power by sticking in indoors or by yeah, yeah. the rules. They're bamboozled us like in that, in that yeah. sort of sense as well. Completely. And everything pertaining to how this works, if it's a pandemic, they wouldn't have lowered it from being like something like airborne AIDS to now is yeah. not regarded as a high consequence disease. So even with that, it doesn't marry up to what's going on mm -hmm. because their response is still disproportionate to the threat. And we're tied up in the threat. They're actually tying up our entire future's freedom of movement. This can't happen. It's because so now smart. people are just focusing on the death. They're literally preoccupied with saying, Oh, I don't want to say it's not happening. I don't want to say that. It doesn't matter if it's happening or not. Still, we've got to look at the future and where we're going to be outside of this because the economy cannot last it. And the fact of what's going to happen with the economy after is going to be way worse than anything we're experiencing now. And people are talking about that. They're like, oh, let's just deal with thing one thing at a time. I said, no, you can't deal with my freedom one thing at a time because I'm can indoors. I, can, can I cut in? Can I cut in? Deal. Yeah. Can I cut in? How come, yeah, I can't see you? How come I can't see you? I can see everybody else, but not you. Because there's only oh, four mate. people on one screen at once, so... Just okay, just I'm quite good at plus. All right, all right, let me just uh, get to my point, like... I've got five. I, I, I can, um, I can, I can put on a foil hat or whatever, you get me? I've got my own ideas, I don't like to say them, because I know that will make a lot of people switch off, and the best thing to do is, is yeah. to just hit them, hit them with the facts before you go into the deep stuff that a lot of us do know about, but it scares away the public, but... Obviously, I know exactly where you're coming from, bro, and I can touch on it. And the fact is, what's scary is they can always use something like this to take away our freedom. They can always say there's a disease. And if you look, you know, like, um, I don't know where it is, um, in the Middle East or whatever, the police going around, putting man on the floor and whipping them with sticks for being out and shit like that. Yeah. Bro, if, <laughs> yes. that fam, if that don't look like the New World Order, then I don't know what fucking does, bro. Get uh, um, people are cheering it on. Beaten yeah. in the streets, fam. You're getting beaten in the streets. So all, all the, the powers that be, all the powers that be have to do is say, yo, there's a coronavirus or there's this and there's that. And they just lock us away in our yards and they can just erect whatever towers. But like everything has stopped. Like everything, the whole world has stopped. You get me? But 5G carried on. And that's why I always go back to, the, to this whole 5G. Like yeah, what role? Yeah. Does 5G play? Go on. Where, where do you? Oh yeah. Where, where do you stand on the on the on the like on the where I think they might go with? Obviously, being a health worker, it's obviously 
probably a bit mad for to say, but with them going to the stance, they're going to test everybody and then come out with they've got a vaccine and every, everyone's going to have to have the vaccine. Where, where do you stand with their stance on that? Like, because um, like, I think that's where they could go with it almost. Like, is that for me? Uh, yeah, yeah, for you, D2, yeah, yeah. Okay, so basically, I'm uh, like, this is why I don't like speaking my mind because this will make a lot of people switch off. I'm scared of them putting, I work there, I'm scared of them putting anything in me right now. You get me? They'll test me and say, boom, yeah, you've got it. Two weeks later, I'm dead. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't trust nothing right now. That's the thing, you get me? So when I see them doing uh, acting or booky, like, like, yo, I'm a road man, you get me? I'm a road guy. I can go into it, I could be in a club and I could look around and I'll be like, Lads, let's get out of here, man. It's about to kick off. You get me? I can feel that feeling. I feel that everywhere right now. You get me? I'm like, yo, certain don't add up. Certain's spooky. Somebody's trying to ting. Somebody's trying to sneak up. You get me? And then when I see them sneakily, the press ain't covering it or nothing. You get me? They're just quickly 5G everywhere, 5G everywhere, 5G everywhere. Why hasn't none of the media said, yo, why go on for this 5G thing? Why are we erecting 5G? And that's because there's an agenda. Now, for it to be brushed under the carpet, to be that's, quickly snuck in. Do you think that's your, your, your line of it is that like, let's make as much noise as we can about this 5G and really see what's going on with it? And if that needs to be, well, things need to be done with it, things have to be done with it then, like as in the 5G, if that's what is making people poorly, you think then? Do you know what the thing is? Yeah, like it's mad because now it's like the actual majority that's agreeing with me, where before yeah. it would be the opposite way around. And then I'll look in the thread and then I'll see what one geezer talking about your absolute nutcases. This and that. I'm like, the, all, all of us, we're all from nutcases, mm. and you're the only one enlightened now, bro. We've all got headaches. The entire country has got headaches, bro. You get me? And, and like, yo, listen, there's a reason why we have detectives, there's a reason why we have the Federal Bureau of Investigations. Do you know why that is, fam? Because when people start dying, questions need to be asked, bro. And hundreds of thousands of people are dying across the world. Man need to ask some questions. Man don't just need to take the change and walk out the shop. Yo, it looks light. Check your hand, man. Yo, something's going, yes, something's yes. not. You see, you hear what I'm saying, fam? Yo, there's a reason, like, your brethren down there is watching Colombo. You get me? Man need to be Colombo right now. You know, when he walks away. You know, do you know what I'm saying? He walks away, yeah, and then he goes, you know, there was just one thing. And then when he says this, <laughs> you know he's got you. You know he he's got out, you right now. He's worked it out. Him, but, but somebody else goes, somebody else goes. Well, Dean, well, you were saying I've, yourself I've, about... So currently, currently, bro, currently. I think we can agree, yeah, that... I think we can agree that the, it's hap something's happening, fish is happening, yeah. We can agree that there is a virus... But I think we can also agree that it's not as bad as they're making out it is. Uh, but yeah. let's, what I want to know is, if they are doing this, which I think it's looking, it's all, all the things are pointing towards they are, if they are doing this a distraction to put 5G, what, why, what is that so bad about 5G well, listen, to, to like our health? This is the thing. This is, is this is why it makes it scary. This is what makes the process scary because, okay, First, they're, they're telling us about the pandemic and people dying and they've got the virus, the COVID-19. I'm like, okay, fair enough, okay? But in reality, like I said, we're not seeing what they're trying to express is going on in the media. So the oh, shit. Just, I mean, we've, got, we've just got in our heads, right, okay? But mm. when you start p putting together the dots that they're forecasting deaths, yeah, that's it, and yeah. at the same time, they're forecasting these grand numbers. fucking number of deaths mm. and 